Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have here a Panasonic 43 inches smart TV. My friend brought to me this TV for repair. He already tried to fix it but he failed. Now let's try if we could fix it. As you can see, the display is flickering. This problem is another LCD panel fault. If you want to learn more about electronics repairing, please support my channel and please watch the video till the end. But before we're going to start, please let me give you some friendly reminders. If you're not a qualified electronics technician, please don't DIY, it may cause you an injury or totally damage to the unit. Here is the model number. TH does 43FS for 100X. Let's open the TV. The LCD panel is LG. This is the TCON board. This type of panel is GIP panel. When these type of problem occurs in this type of panel, usually the remedy is tape method. Tape method is done by blocking the clock signals using a tape. But this time, it didn't work. That's why my co-technician already removed the tape. As you can see, there's a three pairs of clocking signals. Clock 1 and clock 4, clock 2 and clock 5, clock 3 and clock 6. But blocking those signals didn't fix the problem. Because there's a problem in the panel left and right, blocking is only in effect when one side of the panel is faulty. This is the VGA cha and VGA even. I'm going to modify it to fix the problem. If you are working in this type of panel, and having a symptoms of panel problem like double image, flickering, picture freezing, and discoloration, it's better to modify it first rather than blocking the clock or gates lines. By modifying the VGA chart and VGA even, the panel may last longer than blocking. After checking the resistance in the clock or gate lines, I found out that there's a leak between the clock 3 and clock 6 pairs. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to like, share, and hit the notification bell to update you if I have a new upload video. Let's check the voltages. I measured 8 volts DC from clock 1 to clock 6.
Now let's check the VGH out VGH even voltage. The VGH out measured from 26 volts. Then turns to negative 5 volts, it's normal. To VGH even from negative 3 volts. Then turns to 28 volts, this is not normal. The negative supply drops. It should be the same as the VGH out voltages. Now, let's modify it. This is the level shifter IC. We need to cut first the VGH out VGH even lines from this IC. Make sure that you cut the correct lines. Otherwise you may damage the IC. I already cut the VGH out and VGH even from the level shifter IC. Next is connect together the VGH odd and VGH even go into the LCD panel with a thin wire or magnetic wire and connect it to VGH supply. You can also use the resistor to connect VGH odd even to VGH supply. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe, and don't forget to like, share, and hit the notification bell, to update you if I have a new upload video. After connecting the VGH odd, VGH even, go into LCD panel to VGH supply, 
I checked the clock signals and only the clock 3 and clock 6 pairs has slight deference. Two other clock signals. This is now the finish connection, VGH on even, to VGH supply via 39 ohms resistor. I successfully fixed the TV, and it still shows nice and normal picture, if you think my video is informative, I'm very thankful if you can give me a thumbs up, you can share it also to others and subscribe. Thank you for watching, bye bye. I'm walking alone.